Hello and welcome to the first animated sword brought to you by the deck of many.com. Stone Tooth's jagged peak marks the end of the spine of the world. In its depths lay the hidden runes of Glitterheim and the last blades of Durgeddon. Weapons forged as an act of defiance by the greatest smith of his age. We three fools were persuaded, like many before us, that there in Glitterheim we would find our fortune. Gideon Ruskin, Urko Greenbeard, and myself, Johann von Generico, made our way up the orc-infested southern peaks. We were pleased to find the orcs unprepared. I ran ahead, my daggers ready, and Gideon followed suit without a moment's hesitation. Before the greenskins knew what hit him, I drove a dagger into a tendon and caught a crude axe. Gideon used his low center of gravity to take the second one by surprise. He hit the ground like a sack of potatoes and gurgled out a scream as I sunk an orcish axe into his exposed throat. The two orcs remaining tried to run, but outrunning Team Fun Size is a fool's errand. The dwarves built Glitterheim as a testament against these cowards, and we were there to make sure they remembered it. That's when it started raining arrows. The orcs had archers and arrow slits. Twelve terrifying minutes later, we'd brutally murdered every last one of them. Then, room by room, we cleared out hundreds of enemies. Floor by floor, fight by fight, we cut straight to the heart of Glitterheim. The dice were with us, and we were unstoppable monsters. Until we got to Durgan. Forge. Two Duragur were standing, their backs to us, trying their luck at the forge. Between us and them, there was a stream of fresh spring water with two short bridges on either side of the room. Too haggard to sacrifice a surprise round, I did the only logical thing. Now, experienced players probably know what happened. It is a story traded from adventurer to adventurer, though the names and place may be different. Eventually, we will all witness the deadliest tool in the DM's toolbox. In order to make it into melee range within one turn, I had to leap the stream, five feet across. I'd been rolling hot all night, and besides, if I fell in no biggie, I'd just fish myself back out, maybe lose a turn. DC 18 acrobatics check, no problem. Five. That's when the DM smiled. You get pulled 30 feet downstream, and you can hear rumbling. There was a waterfall. Urko ran to my aid. He dropped his weapons and ran full speed to the footbridge and threw me a rope. Crit fail. He managed to throw me the rope, but he threw the whole damn thing. Gideon leapt into action to grab the other end. Crit fail. He fell in too. As I sped towards the precipice of death, I saw a rock jutting from the center of the stream. I slammed my feet against it, pivoted up, and my years of training came to bear. Crit fail. Urko fished himself out of the water just to watch as I sailed over the edge. 20 d6 damage. We still laugh about old Johan, his battered corpse tumbling down a 200-foot waterfall into a black dragon's den. If this video serves one purpose, it's to warn new players, beware the water. Thanks for watching the Animated Sword, sponsored by TheDeckOfMany.com. They're making cards to help DMs and players alike keep the game moving with conditions, monsters, and more for 5th edition D&D. Website in the description.